extensive timeline of Earth's history, there exists a pivotal moment that challenges our preconceptions. The aftermath of the dinosaur extinction. As the sun dipped below the horizon, a cosmic anomaly unfolded in the sky. A comet hurtled toward Earth with unwavering determination. The ensuing collision was a cataclysmic spectacle, a transformative event that reshaped history. This celestial confrontation marked the conclusion of an era, rendering the dinosaurs as mere remnants of Earth's glorious past. But how did the survivors adapt to this colossal reboot of life on Earth? Were there even survivors? And if so, what extraordinary creatures emerged from the ashes to claim dominion over a planet forever changed? Join us as we unveil the events that transpired in the immediate aftermath of the dinosaurs' fiery demise. Approximately 66 million years ago, during the concluding phase of the Cretaceous period in the Mesozoic era, the Earth underwent transformative changes. The remnants of the Pangaea supercontinent had nearly completed their separation, rendering the planet's appearance remarkably similar to its present state, albeit with subtle disparities. Notably, the termination of the Cretaceous period marked the ultimate division of South and North America, establishing their distinct identities. Meanwhile, the land masses we recognize as Africa, Australia, and Greenland have already taken on the shapes that persist today. Concurrently, the outlines of Europe and Asia were only just beginning to take form, with the burgeoning of prominent mountain ranges such as Siberia, Mongolia, the Andes, and the Cordillera. These continents were in the active process of emerging, setting the stage for the Earth's contemporary geography. The Cretaceous period spanned a remarkable 79 million years, establishing its status as the lengthiest epoch within the Mesozoic era. Throughout this prolonged era, the Earth experienced fluctuating climatic conditions. As the period drew to a close, the global climate was relatively cool, with the formation of polar ice caps. Consequently, winters turned harsh, with some regions experiencing temperatures plummeting below minus 10 degrees Celsius and dipping as low as minus 45 degrees Celsius in Alaska. Nevertheless, it is noteworthy that the Earth was still notably warmer than its current state, sustaining lush vegetation that blanketed the continents. This period witnessed the emergence of flowering plants, a pivotal development in the planet's ecological history. These flowering plants coexisted with conifers, ginkgo trees, and remnants of earlier tree species, collectively forming dense forests. Notable among these were familiar species such as walnuts, ash, and beech. The decomposing leaves of these trees enriched the topsoil, promoting the growth of newly appearing herbs. The rise of flowering plants necessitated the evolution of insects, most notably butterflies and bees, which assumed the critical role of pollinators, aiding in the propagation of these plants. Pollinated flowers, in turn, gave rise to seeded fruits, serving as a vital food source for a diverse array of animal species, including birds. This interplay between plants and pollinators significantly influenced the evolution of herbivorous dinosaurs and many mammalian species. Consequently, the populations of carnivores, ungulates, insectivores, and primates experience a notable upswing during this favorable climatic epoch. It is worth noting, however, that these early mammals had not yet attained the colossal sizes observed today, with the majority remaining small rodents and predators. For instance, a fossilized head measuring merely 20 centimeters in length was discovered in Argentina, belonging to a diminutive mammal known as Granopio dentiacutus, colloquially referred to as the saber-toothed squirrel due to its elongated snout and lengthy incisors, presumably adapted for insect consumption. Nevertheless, larger animals were also emerging during this period. In Madagascar, the remains of the sizable Ventana certici marmot were unearthed. This herbivorous mammal exhibited distinctive physical traits, including formidable crests on either side of its skull, likely for self-defense, and an exceptional sense of smell. Weighing in at 9 kilograms, this creature was three times the size of its contemporary marmot counterparts, marking a significant step in the diversification of mammalian species during the Cretaceous period. In this period, the true giant among mammals was Ropina mammoths. Characterized by a one-meter body and a weight ranging from 12 to 14 kilograms, outwardly Ropino mammoths bore a resemblance to the modern Tasmanian devil or a squat dog. Remarkably, this predator preyed upon small or recently hatched dinosaurs, even though dinosaurs represented the pinnacle of prehistoric evolution and occupied the apex of the Mesozoic food chain. 
a diverse array of dinosaur species varying in size inhabited all continents. Among these dinosaurs, the smallest known was the Ogdentavis congress. The head of this miniature reptile measured no more than 14 millimeters, including its beak. Regrettably, paleontologists have yet to uncover the remains of the torso. However, based on the dimensions of its head, it is unlikely to have exceeded the size of a modern hummingbird. According to some estimates, the largest terrestrial animal to have ever graced our planet was the Alamosaurus. These colossal dinosaurs reached a height of 29 meters, weighed 38 tons, and boasted a 12-meter long tail. The day life on Earth underwent a profound transformation was just five hours away. At that moment, animals, both young and old, were engaged in their typical activities, foraging and hunting. A group of 50 Alamosauruses journeyed to the Yucatan Peninsula in search of fresh vegetation. These giants were herbivores, necessitating the consumption of up to a ton of plant matter daily to maintain their physique, often taking several days to clear an entire forest of leaves, leading a nomadic lifestyle. Meanwhile, in the region that is now Mongolia and China, a middle-aged predatory Tarbosaurus was on the hunt. This 14-meter-long species held the distinction of being the largest among predatory dinosaurs in the Cretaceous period. This particular Tarbosaurus embarked on a hunting expedition in a floodplain where medium-sized animals and small dinosaurs congregated for water. Tarbosaurus, like its kin, walked on two hind legs, sporting disproportionately small forelimbs with two fingers, which were nonetheless useful for grasping prey or catching fish with elongated claws. The primary weapon of the Tarbosaurus, however, was its formidable array of around 60 sharp teeth, measuring up to 85 millimeters in length. Three hours remained before the impending catastrophe. Meanwhile, in North America, a solitary adult Pachycephalosaurus went about its daily activities. This dinosaur, measuring 4.5 meters in length and weighing around 450 kilograms, presented a formidable appearance. Its head was protected by a substantial bone dome, approximately 25 centimeters thick, which undoubtedly helped mitigate the force of impacts when this great reptile engaged in combat. On the rear of the dome, bony projections and short spikes protruded upwards from its muzzle. Pachycephalosaurus, primarily a herbivore, primarily consumed leaves, seeds, and fruits using its relatively small, sharp teeth. However, there is evidence suggesting that this dinosaur also included meat in its diet, preying on small amphibians, shellless animals, mammals, and possibly even newly hatched dinosaurs. On this particular day, our Pachycephalosaurus ventured closer to the ocean, where it discovered numerous trees bearing nutritious seeds. Additionally, it had the opportunity to feast on ample supplies of large ammonite mollusks, lizards, and other small creatures inhabiting the nearby lagoons. Meanwhile, in western North America, a female Ankylosaurus ventured into the forest to forage for sustenance while guiding her four newly hatched cubs. This colossal reptile bore a nightmarish appearance, resembling a hybrid creature of sorts, reaching sizes comparable to that of a rhinoceros or even an adult African elephant. Its body was encased in robust bone armor, and it boasted a massive club-like knob at the end of its tail. Despite its intimidating appearance, the Ankylosaurus was, in fact, a gentle herbivore. The mother, accompanied by her cubs, did not employ her club as a weapon, but rather as a safeguard against potential predators and cannibalistic reptiles. With the protection of their mother's formidable tail, the family ventured into a dense forest near the newly formed Rocky Mountains. Now, with just two hours remaining until the impending calamity, a tragic confrontation unfolded in North America, several hundred kilometers away from the impending disaster site. An absent-minded Carnotaurus unknowingly wandered into the territory of a Tyrannosaurus rex and failed to detect the owner in time. Carnotaurus, capable of reaching speeds of up to 50 kilometers per hour, could have easily escaped its slower opponent, the T-Rex, which could only attain a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. However, the T-Rex's sudden appearance caught Carnotaurus off guard, its presence betrayed by a telltale scent. The T-Rex possessed an exceptional sense of smell compared to other dinosaurs, and its visual acuity rivaled that of a hawk. Additionally, the predator enjoyed binocular vision, enabling its eyes to focus independently and combine the input from each eye into a single, precise visual image. This adaptation allowed the T-Rex to accurately gauge the distance to its prey. The T-Rex launched a ferocious attack to protect its territory and secure a delectable meal simultaneously, for it never passed up the opportunity to feast on its kind. 
In this duel, the odds were decidedly in favor of the T-Rex. The weight discrepancy was substantial, with the Tyrannosaurus tipping the scales at up to 6.8 tons, outweighing the Carnotaurus by nearly 5 tons. Its muscular strength far exceeded that of the Carnotaurus, despite the horn-like projections above the latter's eyes. In a contest of power, Carnotaurus stood no chance against the T-Rex's immensely powerful jaws. The Tyrannosaurus swiftly tore its adversary to shreds and commenced its meal. This fortuitous encounter provided the reptile with a substantial meal, as it was estimated to require up to 100 kilograms of meat per day, equivalent to the daily intake of three or four lions. Engrossed in its feast, the T-Rex failed to notice the rapidly growing luminous celestial body in the sky. With just 10 minutes until impact, a colossal asteroid rapidly approached our planet, poised to unleash widespread devastation. In mere minutes, this impending catastrophe was set to claim the lives of 75% of all living creatures, triggering the cataclysmic Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. Back in 1980, scientists put forth a theory attributing this disaster to an asteroid impact. Their supporting evidence included the discovery of significantly higher iridium levels in 66 million year old clay deposits worldwide, starkly contrasting the iridium content in layers both above and below. Notably rare on Earth, Iridium is plentiful in certain types of asteroids, earning it the moniker Space Metal. Scientists surmised that this unusual metal was likely introduced to Earth via an asteroid collision. A decade later, a separate team of researchers pinpointed the precise location of the impact site. A crater with a staggering 180-kilometer diameter found in the Yucatan Peninsula, aptly named Chicxulub, this crater's age aligned perfectly with the dinosaur extinction event, cementing its connection to the catastrophic occurrence. The abundance of iridium within Chicxulub increased as one moved closer to the crater's center, providing further confirmation of the asteroid's role in this calamity. Moreover, in New Jersey quarries, scientists unearthed 25,000 animal fossil fragments, all perishing on the same fateful day, marking additional compelling evidence of the mass extinction that followed the asteroid's collision. As we stood on the precipice of impact, a 10-kilometer rock, weighing trillions of tons, hurtled through the atmosphere, guided by the relentless pull of gravity. This colossal mass attained a staggering velocity of 20 kilometers per second, forcibly compressing air columns one after another with the sheer force of a piston. This rapid compression, coupled with friction, heated the massive rock to temperatures reaching tens of thousands of degrees Celsius, rendering it brighter than the sun itself. Simultaneously, the Tyrannosaurus rex, amid its leisurely lunch, was startled by the sudden brilliance of the sky as the asteroid's blinding light pierced its eyes. In a futile attempt to shield itself from the intense radiance, the dinosaur instinctively lowered its head only to find its closed eyelids offering little defense against the searing brilliance. The excruciating heat consumed its reptilian skin, kindling fires amid the surrounding vegetation. In the blink of an eye, the asteroid slipped below the horizon, leaving behind a luminous aftermath. Briefly, the Tyrannosaurus rex enjoyed a reprieve, but this tranquility was short-lived. A moment of weird silence passed, and then the sky ignited with blinding intensity as the asteroid crashed into the Gulf of Mexico, near the northern shores of the Yucatan Peninsula. The energy unleashed by this impact rivaled the force of a 10 billion Hiroshima atomic bombs, penetrating Earth's crust to a depth of nearly 20 kilometers. The resulting shockwaves reverberated across the globe, resembling a cacophony of a thousand tolling bells. The world was irrevocably changed, as the consequences of this catastrophic event would reverberate for eons, altering the course of life on our planet in immeasurable ways. To grasp the magnitude of this event, it's worth noting that a relatively recent eruption of the Krakatoa volcano caused significant ear damage to crew members on a ship located 70 kilometers away. Comparatively, the asteroid's impact was a million times more powerful. Immediately after the collision, shockwaves radiated in all directions at a speed faster than sound, with devastating effects. These shockwaves not only caused severe harm to living creatures, but also traveled for significant distances from the impact site. The sheer force of these shockwaves resulted in horrifying consequences. Animals in the vicinity were subjected to unimaginable heat, which turned their bones to ashes and incinerated vast areas of the surrounding landscapes. The heaviest of dinosaurs were lifted into the air like balloons, their lives extinguished in an instant. Even the mighty T-Rex suffered a severe concussion and was lifted into the air for several seconds. 
This catastrophe extended its impact far and wide, ultimately claiming the lives of the Alamosauruses and other grazing animals that were previously observed. As the asteroid struck, it also dislodged an astonishing 15 trillion tons of rock from the Earth's surface, some of which was propelled into outer space. The remaining debris, including house-sized boulders, began plummeting back to Earth, creating a storm of fiery destruction. Simultaneously, a torrent of glass-like rain, composed of scorching 5mm rocks, fell from the sky, decimating countless more animals. Remarkably, a Pachycephalosaurus in North America managed to avoid the immediate hazards of fires and falling boulders, but it faced another perilous challenge. A colossal tsunami, reaching 100 meters in height, swept inland from the ocean, dwarfing even the devastating tsunami that struck Japan in 2011. This immense wave inundated vast stretches of land, reaching as far as North Dakota, and claimed the life of the Pachycephalosaurus, carrying it into the depths of the ocean. Elsewhere, an elderly Tarbosaurus was hunting for prey in a distant location, kilometers away from the impact epicenter. Despite the ongoing cataclysm, numerous dinosaur species still roamed wooded areas, unaware of the impending disaster. As the asteroid impact triggered a series of cataclysmic earthquakes, some measuring up to 11.2 in magnitude, the planet's geological stability crumbled. These tremors were an astounding 50 times more powerful than any earthquake humanity has ever recorded. Even the most potent earthquake on record, the Great Chilean Earthquake of 1960, pales in comparison. The seismic upheaval was so intense that dormant volcanoes across the planet awoke and spewed forth their molten fury. Approximately 70 billion tons of pulverized stones, soot, ash, and carbon monoxide ascended into the atmosphere through these volcanic eruptions, only to return as a scorching rain of destruction. The friction of these particles against the air led to a drastic rise in temperatures. A massive scorching dust cloud swept worldwide, igniting everything in its path and racing toward Mongolia at an astonishing 18,000 kilometers per hour. Our planet's temperature quickly rose to a blistering 150 degrees Celsius just 90 minutes after the disaster. Sadly, this extreme heat led to the demise of most life forms. However, a select few, including Tarbosaurus and various animals, survived by taking refuge in an underground cave. They endured as the deadly cloud passed. Eventually, temperatures began to drop, leading to another threat, acid rain. This torrential acid rain resulted from the release of several hundred billion tons of sulfur compounds into the troposphere during the catastrophic event. For weeks, sulfuric acid rained down, contaminating the soil and water sources. Additionally, volcanic eruptions filled the atmosphere with dust, ash, and soot, obscuring sunlight, even at noon. Consequently, temperatures plummeted by 28 degrees Celsius, marking the onset of an extended period of frigid conditions known as impact winter. As the pangs of hunger and thirst forced the Tarbosaurus and their companions to venture out of their refuge, they bore witness to a drastically altered world. It was a desolate realm, enveloped in cold darkness. Only decay-inducing fungi and molds thrived under such harsh conditions, while the once abundant sources of sustenance for dinosaurs vanished. Countless animals, including our Tarbosaurus, perished in this harsh new reality, and it's possible that it was the last of its kind. Nevertheless, there may be the hope that occasional dinosaur eggs remain preserved beneath the Earth, harboring the potential for a re-emergence of these ancient creatures. Over time, small groups of dinosaurs did resurface, only to be met with unrelenting challenges. The bitter cold, scarcity of food, and rampant diseases. These factors sealed the fate of the dinosaurs, ending their era and ushering in the Cenozoic era. Over decades, thick dust clouds gradually cleared, allowing sunlight and warmth to return. Nature slowly recovered, starting with the return of tall horsetails and ferns, followed by angiosperms and grasses. In this transformed world, creatures overshadowed by dinosaurs for ages prepared for a new era, mammals. Some survived by hiding in burrows, others thrived in trees, adapting well, reproducing rapidly, and needing little food their success paved the way for life's flourishing on the renewed planet. This shift in mammalian evolution ultimately led to Homo sapiens, today's dominant species. However, it's essential to realize that humans have a long journey ahead to rival the ancient reptiles, who ruled for 160 million years. 
time will reveal if humanity can maintain its dominance or yield to the ever-turning wheel of evolution, like the dinosaurs before us. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.